This is a second stimulus check update. In this video, I'll go over the good news President Trump said last night about the next stimulus package, when you could expect a stimulus package, which local towns and states are giving their own stimulus checks. One of them is giving up to $4,000 per month. I'm also giving more cash to my subscribers, so stay tuned for that later on. Let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the good news President Trump said last night in an interview. So when asked about the phase four stimulus, which is in reference to the next stimulus checks we're gonna get, he says, I think we're working on something that's going to be very dramatic, very good. I think we are looking at a phase four. Phase one, two, and three have been fantastic for people generally, small business owners also, but we're looking at doing something else in addition. So the reason why this is good news is because there's a lot of positive language surrounding the next stimulus package, meaning it's gonna happen, but you may be wondering, okay, great, when? I'll go over the dates of when you could expect that second stimulus check in a minute, but first let me just give you a quick update of what's going on. The Democrats want a $3 trillion stimulus package. The Senate Republicans want a $1 trillion stimulus package. President Trump says that he wants a $2 trillion stimulus package with $1 trillion going to infrastructure. President Trump did not consult with the Senate before announcing the $1 trillion infrastructure package, and they rebuttaled by saying they'll only do up to $300 billion out of that $1 trillion. So the news regarding the next stimulus is constantly changing on a daily basis, which means over the next few days, weeks, we'll probably see negotiations between the Democrats, Republicans, and President Trump, and hopefully between all three parties, they come to an agreement soon. In addition to the next stimulus package, President Trump also wants to add a $4,000 travel tax credit called the Explore America Tax Credit. So President Trump says, Explore America Tax Credit that Americans can use for domestic travel, including visits to restaurants, that's a big deal. Here are the pros and cons on the screen right now, and a lot of Americans aren't even thinking about a vacation anytime soon with the crisis that we have right now. Also, this program would go up until the end of 2021, which means that people wouldn't see their tax credit until they do their taxes in 2022. Next, a judge orders Steven Mnuchin, which is the Treasury Secretary, uh, to give Native American tribes full stimulus funding. So for whatever reason, uh, Steve Mnuchin has been holding back $679 million in funding set aside for tribes, which were, they were supposed to get under the $2.2 trillion CARES Act. At the moment, there are no details of why Steve Mnuchin is withholding funds from Native Americans, but the Native Americans had to get a court order in order for Steve Mnuchin to actually send it. Uh, the only thing the judge said is that that amount is being withheld of the secretary's own accord. So Steve Mnuchin has his own reasons, we don't know why. And just in case you were wondering, Steve Mnuchin has a net worth of $400 million. To put that into perspective, an average teacher salary, let's say is around $40,000. That means that one teacher would have to work 10,000 years in order to get $400 million. Uh, the reason why I say this is just because I think Steve Mnuchin is living in a different reality than the Americans that he is supposed to be helping. Next, according to Fox Business, at least four members of Congress have benefited personally from PPP loans. PPP stands for Paycheck Protection Program, and these were the loans that were designed to help small businesses from going bankrupt or out of business during the crisis. Just to be clear, Congress members are legally allowed to have access to the PPP loans as long as it's used for the right reasons. The only problem is some people are suspecting false play. Out of the four Congress members, two Democrats, two Republicans. One of them is Debbie McCarcel Powell, who has a net worth of $272,000. Vicki Hartzler has a net worth of $9 million. Susie Lee has a net worth of $23 million. And Roger Williams has a net worth of $66 million. Now let's talk about when you could expect a second stimulus check. So what's happening now is the Senate Republicans are saying that they're taking a wait and see approach to see what happens with the economy, with the COVID, with the unemployment rate, and then they're gonna make their decision. They said late July is either when they make their decision or they'll seriously negotiate it. Uh, but just to show you what schedule they have, uh, so we are mid-June right now and they have a break from July 3rd to the 17th. 17th is a Friday, so they get back to work on Monday. So that's a good 17 days that they are off, not obligated to do any work. 
Then they have another vacation from August 10th to September 7th, which is almost an entire month. So that means from July 20th until August 10th is about a three week period that hopefully they use wisely to figure out a way to help the American people. You may be wondering why are they taking so long to figure out a way to help the Americans? It's not like they don't have money in the bank. They do. They could easily pass something tomorrow and provide relief to Americans. The issue is that we have an election season coming up and it gets very political. So if we look at this right here, according to Fox Business, the last jobs report before the election will be released October 2nd. Elections are in November, which means money must start flowing in August since the unemployment survey will be completed on September 12th. Now, the key is right here is September 12th is the deadline for unemployment numbers to go in and then it's going to be reported October 2nd. What this means is that if they want to get reelected, they don't have to do anything right now until that September 12th deadline. So ideally they want to have money in people's bank accounts August, this way that money flows into the economy, jobs could come back. So by September 12th, the numbers look good. And then the report comes out October 2nd, just in time for them to boast about how they improve the economy right in time to be reelected. Just to remind you, I'm an independent, so I do not like the Democrat ideology or Republican ideology. Personally, I just like to pick and choose which policies will impact Americans positively over the long term. With that said, politicians are showing their true colors when Americans need their help the most. Let me know if you agree with me down in the comments below. I feel like politicians just want three things. To seek higher office, to gain more power, to get special interest money so that they could fund their next campaign, and the third is to be reelected so they could remain in power. Helping the American people doesn't really help them get one of those three things. Unless they are looking to get reelected, which is when they start to turn up the and show how much they care about the American people, usually six weeks away from the election. Elections are in November, six weeks out would be around August, is probably when they're gonna show how much they actually care about the American people. And it's really shameful the way they're acting with their million dollar net worths, six figure salaries, taking one to two weeks of vacation every single month, while most of Americans could barely pay their rent or food for their family. And it's really sad that the one metric that they are trying to show that the economy is in a much better place is unemployment rate. So they're trying to bring down the unemployment rate to show how much better America is. With 40 million jobs lost, a few million gained, what they're not paying attention to is that 30% of Americans missed their housing payments in June. We're gonna have an eviction crisis coming soon if they don't do anything about it. Currently, there is a historically high rate of Americans that are missing their housing payments. Eviction protections put in place at the beginning of COVID-19 spread in the US are beginning to expire at the end of the month. So if nothing is done by July 1st, a lot of the eviction moratoriums, which is basically just to delay the eviction process, are due at the end of June. So if nothing is done, we're gonna have millions of homeless Americans on the streets. Meanwhile, a lot of the politicians are sitting in their comfortable offices waiting for a nice sponsored $200 lunch by special interest money, then going home figuring out what they're gonna do for the weekend, if the country club is open or not, or if they're gonna go to their other vacation home in a few weeks once they have that 17 day vacation. My point is that these politicians cannot relate to the majority of America who have high cost of living in certain states like Oregon, California, New York, among many others. But one of the few who actually support more aid to Americans is Jerome Powell, who is the Federal Reserve Chairman. He says, economic gains are at risk if stimulus measures end prematurely. And Jerome Powell says many workers in hardest hit industries such as hospitality, entertainment, and tourism will struggle until the pandemic is really in the history books. Uh, we're going to need to support them and help them. Also, I've been getting a lot of comments asking, when are we going to get hazard pay for essential workers? So at the moment, there is nothing for hazard pay. The hazard pay that was proposed is in the HEROES Act, which was proposed by the Democrats. Nothing has been passed into law yet. So I just wanna give a shout out to all of the essential workers out there. Thank you so much for putting your lives at risk, your family's lives at risk. My wife is a nurse, she works long hours. I just think that we should all give respect where respect is due, and hopefully the government follows this as well. Before I get into which specific counties and states are giving local stimulus checks and rental assistance, I wanted to talk about how I'm giving more cash to my subscribers. This is 
probably been one of my favorite things to do on the channel, giving cash to subscribers and also donating to the charities of my subscriber's choice. So far, we've donated to St. Jude's Hospital, Shriners Children Hospital, uh, Mental Health Awareness, uh, I think domestic abuse, suicide prevention, and a few others. Um, so we're gonna do this again. There'll be more details on this down in the description below, but basically I'm gonna pick five winners at random. Each winner will receive cash, and then each winner will tell me which charity to donate to on their behalf. The way to qualify, we're gonna keep it simple. You just have to do three things. Be subscribed to this channel, Wise Flies. Be subscribed to my second channel, Wise Sense. And then comment down below what you're grateful for. And you have to use the word grateful. That's how I'll find the winners. I think it's important in times like this, I know I'm always talking about the negative stuff, but we really have to be grateful for what we have in our life. Do those three things and I'll pick the five winners at random in a week from now. Also, just wanted to remind you, you are allowed to make multiple comments on a YouTube channel. So if you wanted to make your comment to qualify to say what you're grateful for, or if you had any other questions, you could keep those separate. This way it's easier to follow. Next, I'll go over all of the local stimulus checks by city, state, county uh, that you asked me in the comments. First, I wanted to point out this one in Skagway, Alaska. So they are giving $1,000 increments to each household member. So if a couple is there, they get $2,000 per month. Family of four gets $4,000 per month. Next, I got a comment from Carl Jennings saying, please check Nome, Alaska for rent and utilities assistance. Uh, so for Alaska, I found that in Anchorage, they're dispersing up to $2,000 for qualified Anchorage residents. And then the Alaska Housing Finance Corporation is going to give grants up to $1,200 for qualified Alaskans. So if you don't live in Anchorage or Skagway, you could be qualified for that additional $1,200. Next comment comes from Nelly Nelly. Hello, can you please check Dallas County, Texas for any assistance the county is offering? I also appreciate your candid reporting. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for the comment, Nelly Nelly. I try my best to give you the facts. It's my pleasure. Uh, so what I found in Dallas County is that they have a rent and mortgage assistance program of $1,500 per month for a maximum of three months and you have to make less than 80% of the Dallas area medium household, which is around $48,000. If you want your uh, state, town, city, um, you want me to research it for you, put it down in the comments below and I'll, I'll look for it potentially in the next video. Next, Jackie Smith asks, any rental assistance in San Bernardino, California? So what I found was in Ventura, California, uh, studio and one bedroom apartments could receive $1,500 per month while two bedroom apartments or larger could receive $2,500 per month. Next, Rico Benson asked, do you know if Chicago, Illinois has a stimulus package? Uh, yeah, so this actually just came out yesterday. Uh, there's a $900 million coronavirus program uh, that will be for businesses, rent relief, that money is being dispersed in a lot of different ways, so definitely look more into it, but you could get a $5,000 grant to tenants because of the COVID-19, and if you can't afford your rent through the end of the year, 30,000 renters will get the $5,000 grants. Next, Stacey Williams says, hello and thank you for taking the time out of your day to help us give us info. When you have time, does Rio Grande County in Colorado have any stimulus help or anything? Thank you for your comments, Stacy. It's my pleasure to do this research for you. So I couldn't find that specific county, but I did find in Aspen, Colorado, really interesting actually, they're giving out $25 vouchers to 8,000 residents. So, and if you want more free money opportunities, you could sign up through Weeble down in the description below. Just by signing up, you get a free stock. If you get put $100 in the account, you get another free stock valued up to $1,400. For a third free stock, you could sign up through Robinhood. For a fourth free stock, you could sign up through First Trade. Fifth three stock, public. I have a whole thing of it down in the spreadsheet below if you're looking to get free money. Personally, I've gotten about $200, two to $300 just by signing up for all those programs. And if you wanna watch the latest second stimulus check updates, you could click this playlist over here. And if you wanna learn one of the most important money concepts to help you build a wealthy future, you could click this video over here. It's on my second channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.